So I had a rebuttal to Ed's little remark of go fuck yourself and turn off the button, which I didn't realize turned off the button. I got so impassioned, and I said, my response to that was, I'll go buy a 12 inch dildo at the other Tony's other job for 30% off so you can go suck it. Ooh. Our character for you this week is Dan Garrett. Dan Garrett. That name sounds familiar. That name sounds fam I don't know where, where it's from. Um, I feel like I should know that. Uh, hang on a second, hang on a second. Let me channel the towers that... Uh, okay, all right. Um, Studio audience, if you know who Dan Garrett is, please keep it to yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, just out of curiosity, could you raise your hand just if you know who he is? Anybody? <laughs> Tony, the only one was not a little Okay. Um, <laughs> Dan Garrett. That sounds like that sounds like a very common name for like a hero, like someone I should know. Like as soon as you tell me the name, I'm gonna be like, oh, I know who that is. Like Peter Parker. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, Dan Garrett is a hero. He's in the Avengers. Okay, and um, his name doesn't have alliteration, so I'm gonna say he's after Stan Lee, but probably he's, he's not created by Stan Lee. But I don't think he's he's too far after that. I'm gonna say he was created sometime in the early '70s. Um, <laughs> And um, Dan Garrett, I, I can't think of a name that he might be. I'm gonna say he's um, he's his costume is. <laughs> 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 Black and blue motif costume. Yeah, he's got he's got he's got like this black mask. Not created by Stanley. Black mask. Yes. And seventies um, creation. Yes. And he's on the Avengers. And um, he's got some gadgets, but uh, one of them is that he could fly. Um, and uh, he's, he's you know not not like the cape get up, but maybe like he can spread a wingspan and he can fly around. And it'll be like the like a, like a like a a, a a flying squirrel, like a gliding squirrel. Yeah, 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 yeah like that. Um, and uh, and he'll he'll fly around and he'll beat the crap out of you. And he's got gadgets and you know uh, not laser beams because I've been made fun of saying that people shoot laser beams out of their hands. Well, people do shoot laser beams in comics. Yes, yeah. hands or fingers, full hands, like. Yeah, no, no, I I think I think he's he's got like maybe like. Uh, Chargers under his wrists that when he like flicks his wrists, so, you know, like a like bullets or, or laser beams or something like that okay. pops out. That, that's like his big thing. Okay. Uh, does he have a superhero name? <clears throat> <laughs> that that's the one part I'm I'm, uh, I'm like trying to trying to think of. I I can't think of a name for him. Dan Garrett. I mean, um. And there has been a lot of obscure Avengers. So. Yeah. Uh. I can't, I can't think of a name for him, but everything else I've come up with, I think. And I know, as soon as you say this, it's going to be a character I know. It's because I know that name. I've heard that name before, but I can't place it. I'm not sure you have. <laughs> Should I start giving response? Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give you, I'm not going to say who it is first. I'm going to give you other information. He was created by <clears throat> Charles Nicholas. Okay. Not Stan Lee. Nope. Uh, first appearance was in August 1939. Oh! Uh, first appearance was Wait! Mar Dan Garrett. <laughs> okay, he's, he's a Marvel Universe character. So he appeared in Timely Comics in the night. So that means it would be like King's Gold Age. Submariner, that, that era. Okay, keep going. Mystery Men Comics number one. Okay. He's the Golden Age Blue Beetle. We got you oh! on DC. Oh! Explain what your idea was. 
Well, I mean, the whole fact that you just don't read anything else aside from the DC Universe, I decided to say one day, you know what? Let, let's give him a run for his money. Let's give him something to really guess at. So I said, with all the obscure shots he's been taking so far, like the one in the one in fifteen chance you have of actually getting it right, let's pick a very, very, very obscure DC character and see how far we can run you with this to see if you can either catch on. He was very close though. You had gadgets. <laughs> but I love that. Well, the current one has a blue and black motif and shoots things out of his wrists. Yeah. <laughs> but I, it just it satisfied me so much to see that you were on the edge of it. It's like, I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. I couldn't look I at know. you. <laughs> I know it's somewhere. Oh, oh that was we, fun. We, we had like a backup one just in case you were like, oh, wait a minute, that's, that's the Golden Age Blue Beetle. Yeah. It's like, nice try, guys. You wouldn't have gotten me on it. It's good to see we're completely wrong that you were going to yeah, say that. Yeah, we, we thought. <laughs> we, we had backups just in case we were caught. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good to see we never got to that, huh, ladies and gentlemen? Huh? Yeah! yeah. 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 It's tough to DC or DC. Yes, yes. You fucking posing! <laughs> 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 I hope that was on him! Uh, happy, uh, happy but you know what I like though? I have to say, while all this was going on, I overheard Steve Martinez say, Boy, I don't know, I'm a DC guy. So, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 it was the poser, poser! Uh, He's a big fat pony! Uh, I chose a big fat pony! Yes! Alright, now, now the moment of truth. Here's, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. The big surprise of the evening. What's going on with the Socko Top? Well, the Socko